Hey guys, check this out. I'm gonna show you guys a, a technique from the our pinning system, Neon Belly, and we're gonna show you what my mindset is whenever when I get here, and we're gonna show them that one of the most common submissions you'll get from here. We're past his guard, guys. So if I'm up on top, I'm looking to pass. I'm not in a system yet. I need to get into one. So my goal is I'm passing is looking to find a way to get past so I can get to my pinning system. Or if I'm having a lot of trouble, you know, a lot of times we can enter the leg system here. And then with all of our techniques, we could even use that to pass into our leg drag and up into our pinning system or back system. So let's say I did my leg drag just like that and I got here, but now I'm past and now I need to find a, a way to get a submission. So in our, our pinning system, this is one of the pins, side control, case of Gatami. I'm gonna, I need to create some action. So what I like to do is put my knee on the belly to get him to have a reaction or any type of transition. So if I come up knee on belly, boom, he's gotta do something, he can't just stay here. He's gonna, a lot of times, start to push my knee and scoot out because it doesn't feel good to let my gut in. His goal would be to push me into half guard if he could. So I don't want that to happen. Whenever I see him get to the knee, I stick my hand in this hole immediately. I'm gonna scoop his tricep here. And now, guys, I'm gonna blade his face. I'm gonna lift my elbow to scoop his arm all the way up to my shoulder. I'm gonna trap it here. And now I can pull him up, guys, and I can start to attack an arm lock right here. What happens, though, is he's not gonna just go with that. A lot of times he's trying to resist by bending his arm or trying to do something here. So I, I like to get a more secure position. I keep the blade here. I'm gonna take a big step around. I'm gonna put my knee nice and pinched right here. Look how low my hips are. And now I can just rotate over and turn. And now I'm hitting this arm lock. If I could, I'd like to get my foot right here in front of the face. If it's in front of the arm, it's no big deal. But it's just uh, a lot of times he can find a way to uh, make the arm bar a little less effective if I get that. But uh, pinch the knees, hips up. And if he did start to try to turn and escape for the, the six o'clock escape, guys, just make sure you're ready to either transition to omoplata here or roll back. If he starts to go, I'm gonna turn that thumb back to where he can't get the arm or turn it down and then I can finish that arm lock still. But when your knees tuck like that, a lot of times a six o'clock escape is what I'll try. Let's just talk about that again. I'm gonna hear in side control. I need to create some, some problems, okay? So one thing I can do is knee on belly. I could also, you know, look for another type of transition. Let's start with this knee on belly right here. Boom. He starts to push and this hole opens up, guys. I'm, all the systems are based upon my partner's reaction. So if I can practice knee on belly enough to realize this is a very common reaction here, I'm gonna be ready for this. I stick my hand in this hole, I cup that tricep, blade the face, I scoop it up, I trap his arm. I could start to try to rotate and hit an arm lock here, which sometimes I will if I feel like it's really, really tight, but I'm just gonna keep it locked out big step around. Here's another tip. If I wanted to, I could drop my elbow here and put all of my weight right here, sandwiching his arm. And now I can do this a little slower. If I need to do it quick, I just gotta go. So I can just take a big step turn. If I can find his leg here, now I'm in my dead zone, guys. My dead zone of the pinning system is the spider web. So a lot of times you'll hit it and you won't need to stop there, but if you get here and he's connecting his hands, we're gonna go right here. Ideally, I will pull this foot out and put it out if I, if I get here and I need to hang out for a second, just because this does give you added control. Now that I'm here, I can work on the arm. There's a bunch of different ways to finish from here, guys. If you wanna be very secure, let's turn. I like to always, if I'm trying to be very secure, I'll grab this and I'll start falling this way, keeping his leg with me. And now guys, I'm looking to slide up the arm. And now as I start to fight up the arm, watch this, I can stuff his elbow in my hip pocket. I can just attack the wrist and let go of that for just a second. If I like to keep it though, you can find ways to get this, stuff it, boom, and find your way to that wrist and you'll be able to pry it up right there without letting go. But Ah, I don't mind letting go. Let's do it again. Last one. Let's actually turn this way. 
I come up, knee on belly, guys. Boom, I'm staying low. Look, right here. I'm in a frame. I'm gonna make sure I shut this all the way up and get this. The more on the side, the better. So I like to pull him if I can. But if you really put your elbow, sometimes right in his right, he'll turn for you. So you can either drop it in or just pull him up. Big step, turn. Catch his leg if you want, or just attack the wrist. I like to catch the wrist here and get ready. If he starts a six o'clock escape, I'm gonna either gonna recorrect his thumb, or if he goes, throw that foot over. I'm going to plata right here, and he's still in danger. So try it, work it.